Shovel Glove is 14 years old uh, this year. And in all those 14 years, I had not thought to make a full video of all uh, of an entire routine. I've shot little mini clips of uh, the different movements, but not one uh, entire routine for you to follow along with. I guess I thought, why on earth would someone want to watch me shovel glove? But apparently people do. Uh, I've been asked for 14 years, and so here it is. The 14 minute video you've been waiting for for 14 years. Uh, as you can see, I am properly attired for shovel glove. I've got my pajamas on. Uh, I find these uh, gloves helpful for blister reduction. Um, and uh, I'm here in the comfort of my living room uh, in the presence of my cat who will probably make himself heard if, it, if not seen uh, at some point. What I'm going to do today is something I call the routine of sevens. So just seven repetitions of each of the 12 canonical movements uh, on each side. Seven right, seven left. Um, I think this is a great introductory routine uh, because uh, it's safe. You, you don't risk you know, overdoing any one of these movements too much. Um, it gives you a nice tour of all the movements. You know, uh, worst comes to worst, and one of them just does not feel right. Just skip it, and it's not too long till, till the next one comes. Um, we'll probably get through uh, a set uh, of each of these 12 uh, in about half the time, uh, the 14 minutes. Then we're just going to repeat over again. Uh, and if we get through two sets, we're going to repeat again and get as far as we can go. Uh, and when the timer stops, I'm going to remember to set the timer in just a moment. Uh, we're going to stop no matter where we were, it doesn't matter if we're in the middle of the set, in the middle of the movement, we're just going to stop because we've got to respect the timer, this comic uh, you know, precision. Um, okay, so I'm going to set the timer and I'll get started and I'll introduce each of the movements uh, as, it, uh, as, I, as I do it. Okay, 14 minutes. First move is drive fence posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like Pa and Little House in the Prairie knocking the fence posts to keep the cows in. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and now churn butter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll switch hands, just angle it a little differently. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And now, the most practical of these moves for most modern people, shovel. And it's like uh, shoveling and tossing, really. It's a compound movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can vouch from shoveling, what was it, three feet of snow last year, that this is one of the more accurate movements. I'm gonna let the cat out. This guy's 19, by the way. Um, okay, so after shoveling comes, this movement is a little contrived, flip the lever, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other hand, and angle 
look slightly differently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next movement is chop wood. Uh, I grew up in Manhattan. I haven't uh, really chopped a whole lot of wood in my life, so um, this one is a little, uh, a little, uh, maybe a little far from reality, but still, it's a good workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think an alternate name for this movement was Swiss Automaton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, and now we are going to hoist the sack. So we've got a sack behind our back and we're hoisting it up. Scratch the back is another name for this one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now, other hand, just let it hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good for the triceps. Uh, and the next one is stoke the oven. You're, you know, an engineer in uh, whatever, it's a coal stoker in a uh, steam locomotive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the martially inclined among you, this is you know, spear the enemy. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we've got tuck the bales. Your sledgehammer is now a pitchfork, and you are tucking the bales and hay into the loft above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And slightly different angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we have the fireman uh, chopping down a door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alternate name for this, Smite the Orc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we are on to chop the tree. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. The lumberjack, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now, uh, after that, we are going to move to a very contrived one. Uh, paddle the canoe. Uh, I've not paddled a whole lot of canoes in my life. This is showing you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What a minute. I should have stopped at ten. Oh, eleven. Twelve. I'll go to fourteen. 13, 14, and that's okay because this move doesn't have an orientation. There's no right left here, so it would have been you know, just 7-7 seven, seven repeating the same thing, so 14 is fine. 
Okay, and the last canonical movement, which uh, I don't actually think I've uh, published any video of so far, so this is a, a world premiere, is uh, arm wrestling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and that was all the canonical movements once through. We are about a little less than six minutes into it, and we're just going to start all over again. So, drive fence posts. And hopefully, my angles you know, will be a little different so you get a, a different view of the pelican. Although, I have to say, I completely forgot what I did the first time around, so uh, some luck will have to factor in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll notice that a lot of the workout is in the catching of the weight. You don't hit anything, actually. You catch all that force. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is a Japanese martial arts term for that catching, but I can't go like you remember uh, what it is. But it's legit. It's a real thing. I didn't make this up. Okay, uh, churn butter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch to the charms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, shovel. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now we're going to flip weaver again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I just noticed that uh, I was reading the timer backwards, so we may not actually finish the set. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now let's flip the lever. Now we've got chop wood, New York style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, all right. And then we've got hoist the sack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other hand. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And now we've got Stoke the oven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we've got Tuck the bales. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've got fire. Chop it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Chop the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left hand. One, two. Seven more the same. One, two, up. You hear that? Timer done. However much I would have liked to squeeze two complete cycles in there, I didn't stop. And uh, I think my hand just got cut off there. And that's important. It actually is not difficult at all to squeeze two complete cycles into a routine. And I think I was just talking too much. Uh, but so be it. In fact, my usual problem is I make it through my either single cycle with more rep counts or a uh, double cycle with plenty of time to spare. And what I do then is either start on a, another cycle that I know will be very incomplete, or I uh, top it off with uh, squats and uh, push ups, aka degraded beats. I hope this thing came out. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, there's the bulletin board, uh, there's a Facebook group, uh, and uh, it's possible I will make more of these videos, maybe a uh, uh, slightly more advanced routine, and maybe I'll even time it better so that uh, you, know, you don't have to stop right in the middle of it. Thanks for watching.